Hello, good morning. Morning. My name's Alex. And I'm Max. If you're new, welcome to the channel. We've been on a bit of a Disney adventure. Um, we spent five nights at Disney's Wilderness Lodge. We are on our way to Disney Springs as we've got a brunch reservation at Summer House on the Lake, which is brand new. It's only been open a few weeks. Looks lovely, doesn't it? Yeah, it looks really nice. So I'm excited to see that. Um, so come along. We're just waiting for our bus to arrive to Disney Springs and these two have pulled up. That one's going to Hollywood Studios, but look at the uh, the wrapping on it, the design. Coco, and then the Epcot bus is Toy Story. And just like that, our bus has arrived. Unwrapped. Unwrapped. <laughs> <laughs> still fun, it still says Disney Transport on it. Yeah. Race in the monorail, monorail race. Come on, coach. No. Welcome to Disney Springs. Return service to your resort hotel is available at this station. Welcome to the springs. Ah, the dog's there. Hello, dog. So Disney Springs, for those that don't know, is a massive shopping, uh, restaurant, yeah, entertainment. Luxury shopping. Imagine like, mm, Cheshire Oaks. If anyone knows Cheshire Oaks. Or Vista Village. It's like that, but Disney yeah. vibe. Yeah. And it's massive. Massive and gorgeous. And there's loads and loads of shops here, including the world's biggest Disney store, yeah. which I'm heading to right now to see if they've got that jumper in that I couldn't get yesterday. Hashtag not giving up. I'm not giving up, I'm determined to get it. Just a note though, the shops don't open till 10. <laughs> We're a bit early, so. Well, only two minutes. Only two minutes, but just in case you decide to come early, none of the shops are open. Well, red, carpet red carpet. It's open! Morning. Morning. So much excitement. Morning. <laughs> 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 No. Oh. You, you don't cry, are you? No. no. But you don't get that in Tesco, oh. do you? Oh, oh. no. Yeah, no. Oh, no. are they there? Is that them? Is that them? I don't know. Is that them? Yeah. Is that them? Yeah. Oh, for God's sake, they've only got smalls, smalls and extra smalls and extra, extra large. Ah, oh, my God. <laughs> we need this. We need a stitch back mat. Oh, hold it, hold it. Or is it just a rug? We need a stitch back mat. I think it's just a rug. Oh, or a rig. Rug. Hmm. It's not here, is it? It's not going to be here. Ah, they've got all of the Starbucks mugs here. <laughs> Epcot ones. <coughs> Kingdom ones, Hollywood Studios, and Animal Kingdom. They're very expensive, but I do like them. All the ears you could possibly want. What's that? So they're nice and classic. Yeah. What are these? It's a balloon light. Oh. 
Is it soft? Oh no. Park life. So that was a fail. <laughs> they can check, I don't know if I said this yesterday, but they can check. Oh, of course I did, because we did three parks, didn't we? Yeah. Um, he's just told me again, there's a medium at the Magic Kingdom. Emporium. I don't know if there really is. I think there is, it's just in the back and they're not putting it out. I bet you it's on the shelf there this morning. I even asked yesterday when we went in and she was like, no. Here's the Lego store. Those buildings over there is the Saratoga Spring, Springs Resort. So if you stay in there, you're right next to Disney Springs. Here's a map of the springs. I don't know whether this is new. Fish and chips. I can't remember seeing this before. It smells nice. Or I just don't know if I've ever walked down this bit before. Here's Raglan Road, the Irish bar and restaurant. Oh my gosh, yeah. So all these people are in line to get cookies because there's a famous cookie shop, Gideon's Bakehouse up there, and they do cakes and cookies and coffees. We had one, didn't we? Yeah. And it's like, is it like three pounds of cookie? Yeah, it's quite it's a lot. It's ridiculous, but it is tasty. Yeah, it is. Very nice. You can't just dip between just for one. Well, there's Blaze Pizza. They do lovely, amazing pizzas. It's a very stressful experience, or it was for me anyway. <laughs> I think we just went on the wrong evening, didn't we? <laughs> so you, you queue up and you basically create your own pizza, don't you? Yeah, pretty much. And this queue was not in my favor. There's Planet Hollywood. I'm getting wet. <laughs> Disney style. These are... They're very colourful, aren't they? <laughs> yeah. That's really nice. Yeah, it's got ping bang on it. Oh, it's really soft. Oh, it's What's on the back of it? Is it by Spirit Jersey? Yeah. Ah, Ducky and Bunny. Sorry. Sorry. That's really nice. How much is that? No price, free. Can you tell where we are? Oh, there's a timeline of M&Ms. Oh, it stinks in here. Smells like <laughs> chocolate gel pins. <laughs> M&M's at Disney Springs. Oh my gosh, have you seen the M&M wall at the back? Wow. <laughs> wow. I mean, I could grab me some M&M's. Pardon? I could grab me some M&M's. Yeah, I could eat some M&M's. Wow. Oh, it's This is the Cirque du Soleil Theatre, where they're currently showing Disney's Drawn to Life with Cirque du Soleil. 
We saw that a few years ago, didn't we? Yeah, the last time we came, it was absolutely stunning, wasn't it? Well, it's, I cried. Yeah, amazing. It was very good. Our friends Adam and Gary are currently flying out as well, and we're joining them tomorrow as we move over to Animal Kingdom Lodge, Kadani Village, to spend a week with them. Woo. But I'm just tracking them on flight radar. There they are. Due to be on time. See you soon. This is where our dining reservation for brunch is. Summer house on the lake. It looks very nice. Oh, they've got a shop. Oh wow, this place is so nice. Stunning, isn't it? It really is. We're so lucky to have been seated outside. There's the bar. What a perfect view. And this is the menu. So this is the brunch menu. Giant cinnamon roll. <laughs> she said it's about the size of this plate. I feel like we do have to have one. But I, I feel like, like we've really got to have one. Are we getting one to share? I think I think we should get one to share. And then a breakfast. And then a breakfast each. Okay. She's going to think, oh, they are piggies. And then, and then there's the... But she did say you could take it home if you don't finish Yeah, that's the drinks menu. Okay, so we've ordered the massive cinnamon roll and share. also ordered breakfast each. The cinnamon rolls just arrived. <laughs> I don't think we'll... I think that will last a week. <laughs> oh. oh my god. Oh, it looks good though. Yeah, it looks lovely. It smells nice. Mm. We've done pretty well with the cinnamon roll. There's only one little slice left. And now our actual brunch has arrived. Yours looks lovely. It does. What have I got? I can't remember. Tostadas. Yeah, the chicken, chicken, chicken testadas. Max has got toast. <laughs> with eggs. With eggs. <laughs> <Nash brown. laughs> the restaurant, they've got a little shop selling all their merchandise. That's a nice umbrella. I would pick the $45. Well, these are nice. You can buy a summer house on the lake. Like, wow, that's fine. And then they also do all these cookies. I'm not joining the queue. And then I assume this is just the seating if you come and buy a cookie or anything, isn't it? Just next to the boathouse, they've got the amphibie car, which are cars which go into water. Yeah, they turn do, into boats. On land and in water, yeah, and yeah. you can have like a little. You have a tour Drive of the lake, out onto the lake, can't you? Yeah. yeah. And there's the car. I mean, it does look like it's about to sink in my <laughs> eyes, but there it is. What did you think of the summer house? Yeah, good. The cinnamon roll was lovely, wasn't it? That cinnamon roll was gorgeous. Yeah. It was yeah. massive. I really enjoyed it. I like that they've done a really good job of the aesthetics of the building. Yeah. It's my kind of building. Everything's white clean light light smells good in there yeah. everyone's really nice yeah it's, it's like a beach club kind of yeah vibe. it's got a good backdrop so if you do come make sure you get a reservation because yeah. it's really really nice um the only thing i would say is with my breakfast i had three eggs ash brown and toast but only one rather small sausage Sus so it yeah. didn't quite stretch with the rest of my breakfast but it was good yeah get that cinnamon roll if you like cinnamon rolls it was yeah. amazing we've decided because we've never been to this resort before or taken a little walk around or anything so we've decided to walk over to saratoga springs and have a little look around because I do like having a little tour of the Disney resorts. Have a goosey gander. Yeah, but I was just thinking, if you're in one of these buildings, you're right next to the entrance to Springs. So if you're a lover of Disney Springs, this resort is perfect for you. 
seems like a nice peaceful resort, doesn't it? Yeah, very peaceful. I think all of these rooms as well have recently been refurbished at Saratoga Springs. This is the map of the resort. It's huge. It is a massive resort. We're currently there. Yeah, so we just walk this bit. Meow. And then look how much there is. And that's taken about 15 minutes. <laughs> massive. Saratoga Springs is based on horse racing. Yeah. Everything's horse themed and there's also a massive golf course attached to it as well. Oh, okay. Yes. So when we go into the communal buildings you'll see there's like all the uh, cartoon horses from the films and stuff. Their portraits are in the reception areas. Okay. And you'll also see a lot of like the buildings are made out to look like stables and things like that. Horsing around rentals. Yeah, is this a bike rental? Ah, oh, yeah. Hi. Oh, it smells good in here. Here's Maximus. Oh, who's that? I think he's from. Oh no, oh, it's Pegasus from Pegasus. Pegasus. Aww. I think. We've decided we're going to get a Uber lift to Celebration. Because I've always wanted to go there, never been. We've kind of got a free afternoon, haven't we, where we haven't got any plans. So. I've requested a lift into the town of celebration. Yeah. Is this the town that Walt started to build or wanted to build? I think or? so. It's like the ideal kind of town, isn't it? And it's got a really nice main strip with shops and restaurants and then a big lake we can we can walk around. So we'll um yeah, show you show you when we get there. We've just got dropped off at celebration. Yeah. And I was right, I, I've educated the driver. <laughs> I had to Google it as we were on the way though. The Walt Disney Company developed um, Celebration as like the perfect town and they've got a lot of their offices here as well. Yeah. So we've just been dropped off at like the end of the oh, uh, high street, kind of. Yeah. But look at these houses. We've just driven down like the main, one of the main residential Rooms, and I said, rooms, rooms roads, <laughs> and I said it's like the typical big American houses that you see on TV. You know, like the that got like a um, porch with a rocking chair in rocking the front, chair. like the Home Alone kind of house. Yeah, yeah. And some of them are like really cute little cottages. Very nice. Very nice indeed. It's so cool. Water Street. Celebration Avenue. Can we cross? We can cross. This is so pretty. I think you need a lot of money to live here though. I think I'd like to live here. Here or Sydney, Australia, Alex. Oh, both. I'll just I'll I'll do that like half a year thing where I just follow the weather, follow the sun. Right. Okay. Planning to sell basic kidneys. Celebration. Is this is this a movie theatre? Ah, is that nice? Pull up a rocking chair. Oh, oh yeah. Get off my porch. I wish that was my porch. You can tell this is kind of built by the Disney company, can't you? Because it's it's in that kind of 
it's in that kind of Disney style decor, isn't it? Yeah, the resort theme. Kind of look it looks a bit like the uh, Yacht and Beach Club, doesn't it? Yeah, a little bit, yeah. Here's the map of Celebration. I didn't realise how big it was. Yeah, so we're currently here on the corner of this lake. So we're at, what's that lake called? Lake... Re... Renard? Reinhard. <laughs> Reinhard? Reinhard? Okay, um, this is the Celebration Hotel. Oh, an estate agent. Anything in the window? Yes, there is. Right, what can't we afford? Oh, no. <laughs> Ooh, that's nice. Two million. What's the cheapest one that we could get? That apartment, 360. Hello. So what's the plan, Alex? Well, what's the plan, plan? We're obviously back from celebration. Ah, uh, yes, we are. We chilled for a couple of hours in the room. If you've continued along from the previous vlog with the trying to find a hoodie saga, <laughs> we're now going back to Magic Kingdom to see if they've got that hoodie in a medium. What's this, attempt number four? <laughs> Possibly. But the temperature's really dropped. And I went and stood on the balcony and I was like, oh, it is cold. So I feel like I'm dressed to go skiing. And I got this little dumb bag on. Uh, Technically my mum's. Thanks mum. It is. Thanks Max's We mom. need to give it to you back. We do. She has asked about where it is a couple of times. <laughs> <laughs> I've got it on now. <laughs> but yeah, so we're off to the Magic Kingdom. And then I think afterwards, because we were going to do this last night and we never did, we're going to go to the Polynesian and actually get some doll Whip. Yes. Yes. So pretty. We got a big boat today. Just watch your step. Thank you. Welcome aboard. We'll go outside. Outside? Yeah, I've got my big puffer jacket on. Right here. As Tin Tracker would say, king of the boat. <laughs> In the contemporary, the monorail goes right through the hotel. And one of my earliest memories as a kid going to Disney is going on the monorail and going to the hotel. Really? Yeah. Uh, I remember it stopping and being like, what? Where? What? Through the middle of the hotel. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we are back in the magic again. Have we come to Magic Kingdom every single day we've been here? Since I think we have, but <laughs> it's acceptable. Hi. Hooray! Welcome back. <laughs> Main mission: the Emporium again. Who thinks it's going to be in there? I do! <laughs> Who thinks it's not going to be in there? Me! <laughs> <laughs> At least we get to see this view. <laughs> right. At least we know where it is. <gasps> oh my god, it's busy in here. Oh my crikey! I can't get round, I can't get round, I can't get through, I can't get through, I can't get through. I am leaving. Is it not there? It's not there. Okay, well let's There's leave. No sizes. No sizes. Come on. Oh, I couldn't go from there, wow. my goodness. That was busy. I guess everyone's leaving on the way out, aren't they? Before, I guess. Yeah. We made it halfway down Main Street and I couldn't battle the crowds leaving. <laughs> So we've decided to come out of the Magic Kingdom and take a nice little evening stroll because there's a walkway which connects Magic Kingdom. the Magic Kingdom there Monorail. to the Grand Floridian Funeral! Hello! Anyone waving? No one waving. Um, which connects the Magic Kingdom to the Grand Floridian which is my favourite resort. 
and then on to the Polynesian. That's what makes Disney so great. You can just think, meh, I'll do something else. Because there's millions of options for you available. There is so Isn't much there? to do. Yeah. And that's why I love it. So it's a lovely walk and we still want Dole Whip. So I thought, what better way to get some than to walk? Exactly. I don't know if Max is too impressed that I've decided to walk. Why? Because you were like, should we get the money mail? Yeah. And I said, no, we'll walk because we need to walk off that massive cinnamon roll we had this morning. <laughs> Very good. Thing. Exciting news as well. In May, we're coming back. And we're spending two nights at Old Key West. Yeah which was Disney's very first Disney Vacation Club resort. So it's fun to see that. And then six nights staying at this amazing resort. Floridian. The Grand Floridian, my favorite. Absolutely love it. And they've recently refurbished all the rooms at the Grand Floridian to Mary Poppins themed. And it looks stunning, like the colors and the carpets they've used. It's like really, subtle, really nice. isn't it? It's like not in your face. Like yeah, that. really, really nice. Um, so I'm really excited to stay there. And then we've got a few nights at Pop Century. Yeah. So we're doing a proper little resort hopping in May. We are. Please make sure you're subscribed because you'll be able to see all that as well in May. This resort is stunning. It's pretty, isn't it? So pretty. So nice. You can also get married at the Grand Floridian for a small fortune. And that's the wedding chapel. The altar where the stained glass window is, is dead center to Cinderella's castle. And this lovely building is an extension of the Polynesian. It's a new DVC. Oh, I nearly walked into that. Did you know that was there? <laughs> Mr. Frog, you need to go back in the bush. Bush. Otherwise you're gonna get run over. That's it. That's it, go on. That way. Go on. He's not gonna move, is he? Oh my gosh, look how high he's jumping. Go on, one more, out the road. There we go, um, into the tree. hedge tree. Well done, at least you're out the road now. We have walked all this way to hit a sign saying this path is closed. To the Polynesian. To the Polynesian. I feel like that sign should have been a lot further down than it was. Okay, just means we now get to go into the foyer of the Grand Floridian, I mean, which I think Alex was secretly planning on. I was along. hoping, to be fair, that we could do that. And then we'll just catch the monorail from the Grand Floridian over to the Polynesian. Oh, that's not so bad, is it? No. <sighs> Welcome to the Grand Floridian. Love it. Come on. Up the Grand Stairs. Do you think we can maybe try the Grand Floridian shop to see if they've got that hoodie? <laughs> yeah, we can try. Let's try. No hoodie. Anyway, I just feel like they're going to do a full leap, haven't we? <laughs> we have. To our new passengers, we welcome you aboard our highway in the sky and hope you've enjoyed the Magic Kingdom. We are traveling to Disney's Contemporary Resort. During our travels, Please hold on to the handrail and stay clear of the door. For the comfort of others, no smoking, please. Thank you. I feel like it's taken us quite a while to get here. 
Yeah. Right. Have they got my hoodie in here? I'm going to go with no as well. How adorable are you? They're super cute. They are super cute. What's Have we got any or? Hello. Mm. Do you want to come home with us? <laughs> Do you? Do you please? <laughs> he is super cute. Like he's saying, please take me home. <laughs> he's super, super cute. No. We'll see. If they don't have it in here, I give up. Mm. Oh. Angry Donald. You don't like an Angry Donald, do you? Oh, they've got the grey ones. They've got grey, teal and blue. Yeah, they've got it. No black. I mean, I know I just said I'd give up, but I'm not giving up. <laughs> I, uh... So... We are still getting doll whips, but I'm a bit hungry now for actual food food, so I've said we'll get that as dessert. So we're coming to Captain Cook's. I've got the coconut meatballs with rice, and Max has got the Hawaiian flatbread, which is a ham and pineapple pizza. Yeah. It looks good. It does. Oh, Dan. We had our dinner at Captain Cook's and now it's time for Panapolani! Doll Whip! Protect the Doll Whip! Yeah! <laughs> right. Where? Yes, let's go. Oh, there are people sat there. Can we just sit in them anyway? And out everyone. Oh, you got this in here. Is it good? <laughs> good. Refreshing. Delicious. May see that the fireworks are currently playing, or here, and we're not at the Polynesian watching them. <laughs> we ate the doll whip, and then thought, hmm, shall we just go back? We also thought getting back from the Polynesian is... Oh, sorry. Oh. This isn't our level. <laughs> We've got off at the wrong level. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> We're going to have to cut this out. <laughs> We're going to lift again. That was really awkward. <laughs> I didn't know what happened. <laughs> I thought we'd arrived. Oh my god, I'm getting playing. lost. I've been here for six nights. How do I turn the lights on? Right. Oh gosh, well we're back anyway. That is it for today's vlog. I feel like it's been a bit of a messy one. Yeah. The last couple of days have been a bit messy, haven't they? Yeah, like, I had every intention of being structured. This day we will go here, do this. This day we will go here, do this. And then it's all just turned into a bit of a, ah, let's go all over the place. But that's what I like doing. I like just being random and going to random places. So there we go. We are checking out of Wilderness Lodge tomorrow as our friends Adam and Gary have just arrived. I believe they're just checking in now. So we're moving over to there tomorrow to be with them. I'm sure you'll check out Adam's vlogs if you want to continue watching along as we will be making an appearance in them. We will be checking in to Coronado Springs for two nights once Adam and Gary leave. So we're staying with them for six nights. They're here for six nights. Um, then they leave but we're here for a further two nights. So we will be back at Coronado Springs, showing you around there, having a little resort room tour of that. And I'm quite excited for Coronado Springs because we've never stayed there before. And 
I know all the rooms have recently been refurbished, I say recently, within the last couple of years, and it looks really nice. Yeah. If you have enjoyed this series, these vlogs, please give us a subscribe. Um, I'd really appreciate it. And thank you very much for watching. So that's being said, good night. Night.